Hey y'all, Pat with Wild Texas here, and tonight we're gonna be cooking Deer Heart Tacos. This is actually a heart from my opening day buck that I got down in Lockhart, Texas, and I, I pretty much treat my heart tacos like a fajita bar. Put whatever ingredients you want on and make each one different. Uh, starting from with the meat, the most important thing to do on the heart is to go ahead and cut off all of the fat, cut off all the fascia, and when we get into here, you're gonna see there's a lot of connective tissue that you're gonna to wanna to get rid of too. If you like seeing wild game recipes like this one, give us a like and subscribe and we'll keep filling up your feed with them. And I'm just gonna start getting to work on this heart. So, what you're gonna wanna do is start taking off all of the fat. Because as you know, deer fat isn't like beef fat and it doesn't cook down well. It's pretty waxy and it hardens up relatively quick. Now I got all the outside fat and fascia removed, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the heart. Just like ours, there's four different cavities. And you get in there, as you can see, there's these different Spider-Man-like connective tissues. And so I go ahead and remove all of those. In an effort to kind of have some uniform pieces of meat, I'm gonna cut the inner piece of the heart out. And again, just to make this meat a little bit more uniform, I'm gonna go ahead and pound it to even thickness. It really doesn't take much, and the heart's already plenty tender in my opinion, so once it gets even, just leave it as is. You don't need to over, over tenderize it. Next, you wanna get your veggies prepped. So I've got some bell pepper and onion that I'm gonna to saute together and down here in Texas, we do like it a little hot, so I also have some jalapenos. I also have a corn on the cob, and I'm gonna go ahead and chuck and cut the kernels off and saute those as well. Uh, top off your tacos with a little bit of avocado, cilantro, some queso fresco, squeeze a lime, you're good to go. All right, now that we have our heart all cleaned up, vegetables chopped, we're gonna go ahead and season up the meat and get the veggies sauteing. Heart's got a lot of flavor, so we're just gonna go ahead and use a little bit of olive oil uh, and then some salt and pepper. You're gonna wanna season up your veggies with some salt and pepper, whatever other seasonings you like. Season up to your taste. This heart looks pretty thin, I'm thinking about a it's gonna be a quick cook. I'm thinking about a minute, 15, maybe a minute and a half on each side. It's gonna go quick. All right, we've let the meat rest for about four and a half minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and cut into it and see how it came out. Looks like it got a pretty good medium rare to it. Perfect. Putting together a taco, I went ahead and used a, it's a white corn tortilla. I think the corn tortillas have a good bit of flavor. And I also like a, a flour tortilla, so it's kind of like a hybrid. That right there is how it's done. That's deer heart taco. I went ahead and put every ingredient on it, and we'll go ahead and taste out what I feel like having tonight, and probably make my second taco with just a few of the ingredients. Uh, it's really an, a great way to get more meat that most people don't get. I know the heart gets left behind a lot, and in my opinion, uh, most people who don't eat wild game would never know that this is whitetail deer heart. It really is good. Uh, I recommend you try it. In fact, if you do, let us know. Uh, leave, a, leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe if you want to see more recipes like this. Enjoy!